Ah, an elevator in your crib. Everybody wants that, right? <laughs> Same thing. And I'm back in Amsterdam. Every time I come here, I love it more and more. This time I have my own apartment, so I'm really feeling good. Zoku's all about community. They have a whole level upstairs that people are working out of, but also wanted to make spaces that were comfortable for extended stays. The Dutch firm that designed it is called Concrete, and the apartment has just about everything I actually use in 300 square feet. You know, have you ever wondered what it looked like when it first began? I'm talking where Ralph was wearing Ralph before everybody knew it. <laughs> well, today we're about to see where Filling Pieces came from. Yes. Right now, we're headed to the world of Filling Pieces. I say world because that's what they've earned out of this thing here. Yeah, so we're at the, um, the center of Amsterdam, which is actually the canal district. Used to be all these spices dealers that actually came here with big boats, offloaded to smaller boats in the canals. Mm. Then a lot of corporate companies came in, and now you see a lot of young independents moving into this area. Hey man, you got to explain to me what's all going on here inside this building because there's four different levels and each one seems good enough for them to be their own space. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, when we founded this building, it was in terrible condition. It used to be this corporate bank, carpet on the floor, system ceiling. We took all of that out and we took out of a lot of walls to make it a more brighter space. Like every floor has a different apartment, so we have marketing, production, finance, design. You know, everybody works together, it's just a big family, and I think because of that, people really enjoy their work. We all come together and just work for a certain goal, which is make the brand bigger, you know, which is dope. Yo, marketing team, say what's up. Hey. Rochelle over there is our art director. She basically puts together concepts with us from the boxing, which she's actually working on, the thank you card, the wrapping paper, everything from that until the shoots that we do, everything in between is her responsibility to make sure that as a consumer part, you experience the brand in the most you know, perfect way. Yeah, so basically when we started out with smaller quantities, we weren't able to do our own outsoles. As we grew and the company grew and the quantities grew, we were able to invest in own soles. This is really how we set our brand apart from other brands because we were able to make FP branded soles. So besides the color, there's a big difference of design lines and stuff, you know. I always say one of the things I love most about making videos is being able to meet so many different kinds of people because the camera is the collaborator. And it's so cool because we know a lot of the same people but have not met until recently. And also started at the same time, which is 2009, right? Exactly. So in less than one year, 2009, you had the idea and the first shoe already came into being, the low top. That's crazy fast. I had the first products done in 2009. It took me like four or five sample runs to get the final product. And then I only made 50 pairs because that was able to like afford with my budget. But as soon as I got to, into more retailers, the ball started rolling and you know more people came in and look at the brand and the come up of Instagram really helped us growing to where we are today. Yeah. You know, one thing I really like about this guy, actually two things. One is that he didn't finish school until 2012 which is crazy difficult to try to do anything, like run a company, have a passion project, whatever, and do school at the same time. But the other thing is that the name is so good. There's a lot of brand names that you don't really know what they mean or is maybe too obvious. We have a brand that is in a lot of retailers in the world, but we're still very small, you know? We're not a big corporate company, so we can try out different things. Create a product, capsule collection, release it in certain doors, see how directions are, design something, have the first protos done in like one or two weeks, and do a production run and have it in the stores within a few months, you know? And that flexibility really brings us to a certain point that we can try out different things. This is basically my desk. I have this Drogba jersey. I'm a big Chelsea fan. I had a friend who actually gifted me this Drogba jersey, which he wore and signed. This is like a vintage pair of shoes that I bought maybe 10 years ago and a lot of lines from this shoe are similar to our shoes. As you can see, like the lines on the color, um, the padding over here. This is actually the second collaboration we did with Kif, which really helped us in the beginning getting the right brand awareness in the States and worldwide. Yeah, so all these things I keep really close here uh, behind my desk. We're going to Bonam. Let's yes. be a Demise. This is very good. Sashimi. Very versatile out here. Sashimi at the Vietnamese restaurant. We're talking about Kanye West and food. Two yeah, great man. things, right? 
Would you look at these sweet potato fries? I would think I'm maybe a sweet potato fry connoisseur. Connoisseur. What you got there? I think it's like a shrimp omelet. Looks interesting, right? This is what it looks like around here on Saturdays. Still here. Still working. After seven years of you knowing filling pieces as shoes, now we have to look forward to clothes. Yeah, exactly. I feel that after seven years, um, it's organically time for us to uh, expand the assortment and uh, get into ready to wear because we feel that that's gonna elevate the whole brand and that's something we really wanna do.